Can you believe it's already been two whole years since the Xbox Series X hit the market? Time flies, doesn't it? I remember when I got the Xbox Series X back in 2020, it was such an exciting time. I was blown away by all the amazing features and capabilities of the console, and I truly felt like it was the ultimate Xbox gaming machine. Well, I'm happy to say that my opinion of the Xbox Series X still holds strong even two years later. It might not have had the most exciting launch with a bit of a shortage on exclusive games compared to its rival, the PS5, but it's definitely worth mentioning that it didn't have any major issues or setbacks either. The only real downside to the launch of the Xbox Series X was the challenge of actually finding it in stock. It seemed to disappear from store shelves almost as soon as they arrived. Thankfully, the console is easier to locate now, though it still doesn't come at a reduced cost. However, the Xbox Series S, its smaller and less powerful yet more affordable counterpart, is gaining popularity as a budget-friendly option for Xbox gaming, with some reductions in graphics quality. The Xbox Series X has come a long way. It's now packed with even more amazing features and runs like a dream, making it one of the best gaming consoles out there. That being said, if you already have a powerhouse gaming PC, there might not be any must-have exclusive games that make the Xbox Series X a must-buy just yet. But even with all that, I still have a soft spot for the Xbox Series X. Sure, my PS5 has some exclusive games, but the Xbox Series X is just so smooth and effortless to use. Isn't it amazing that Microsoft is keeping up with the times and making their first party games available on all platforms? Whether you have a Windows PC, an Xbox console, old or new, or even Xbox Cloud Gaming, you'll be able to enjoy these games in some form. And if you already have an Xbox One or Xbox One X and a strong internet connection, you might not even need to upgrade to a next generation console. You can stream games from the cloud right to your console and still have a great time, even though the graphics might not be quite as good and there may be a tiny bit more lag. For people who don't have super fast internet and are rocking an aging gaming PC, the Xbox Series X is a real game changer. It's become an amazing machine for gaming and even though I love my PS5 for its exclusive games and innovative technology, the Xbox Series X is still my go-to console. The Xbox wireless controller is like an old friend. Always there for us, navigating the interface is a breeze and there are all sorts of cool features like quick resume that make it super easy to get from turning on your console to playing your game in no time. Overall, I find the Xbox Series X to be one of the most dependable gaming consoles, delivering a smooth and consistent gaming experience every time. While it might not have the same level of fancy haptic feedback as the PS5's DualSense controller, the Xbox wireless controller still gets the job done with ease. It's all about seamless gaming with the Xbox Series X, and in just a few moments, you feel like you're transported from your couch to a whole new virtual world. A big part of that amazing gaming experience is due to the lightning fast SSD. Load times are so quick that it's changed the game for me. Whenever I have to go back to playing on a gaming laptop with games on a traditional hard disk, I'm always reminded of how frustrating slow load times can be. The Xbox Series X's 1TB of storage is also a real plus, especially compared to the PS5's smaller 825GB, with only 667GB usable. The Xbox Series X has a unique and modern design with a cuboid tower shape that can stand both vertically and horizontally. It has a map black finish with green accents and the cooling vents on top, the front of the console features the power button, disk drive, pairing button and USB port, while the back has the HDMI output, USB ports, networking port, storage expansion slot and power input port. The sides are minimalistic with a discrete Xbox logo on the left and rubber pads on the right for stability when placed horizontally. The bottom has a disc shaped stand for cooling. Although the matte black finish may easily get scuffed, the design is minimalist and sleek. Despite all the advancements, the growing size of modern games can still fill up your Xbox Series X's onboard SSD pretty quickly, especially if you're taking advantage of your Xbox Game Pass subscription and trying out a ton of different games. That being said, the Xbox Series X doesn't have a must-have exclusive game just yet. Expanding your storage is possible with the Seagate proprietary plug-and-play SSD, which is a cool solution. However, because it's a custom piece of hardware, it's also pretty pricey with a price tag of over $200. While the Xbox Series X is a fantastic gaming console, it doesn't always have a lot of new must-have games to download. However, it does have two semi-exclusive titles in Halo Infinite and Forza Horizon 5 that are best played on the Series X. Additionally, there are a few other great games like Psychonauts 2 that add to the lineup. However, compared to its competitors, the Series X still doesn't have a big standout exclusive game like God of War Ragnarok or Horizon Forbidden West. Of course, those games can be played on the PS4, but they are truly meant to be experienced on the PS5. I'm thoroughly enjoying my current gaming journey in Elden Ring. The Xbox Wireless Controller is a comfortable gaming companion and the interface is simple to navigate. The quick resume feature is just icing on the cake, allowing me to jump right into my game in no time. Although the Series X hasn't changed much since last year, 2023 holds the potential for big things to come. The Xbox Series X has some exciting things to look forward to in the future. Starfield is a highly anticipated game that combines Bethesda's 
RPG heritage with a mix of hard sci-fi and Arcane is working on Redfall, a cooperative game that blends elements from games like Dishonored, Death Loop and Left 4 Dead. Both of these games will be available on PC and Xbox Series X and S and are sure to offer thrilling experiences. The next 8 months or so are sure to be filled with excitement for Xbox Series X and Xbox Game Pass players, with a host of new games such as Hollow Knight, Silk Song, High on Life, The Last Case of Benedict Fox and more being available on the platform from their release day. Additionally, there's a lot of anticipation for upcoming games like Halo 4, The Elder Scrolls 6 and Avowed, which could potentially be Xbox and PC exclusives. This means that if you don't have a high-end PC, the Xbox Series S could very well become an indispensable gaming device, so there's plenty to look forward to and be excited about. The Xbox Series X is the perfect partner for Xbox Game Pass. With stable performance and an easy interface, you can enjoy a seamless gaming experience with the help of the Xbox wireless headset and other peripherals. My final verdict of this console is that its potential hasn't been released yet. The lack of exclusive games is what's holding it back, and 2022 was really a stale year for it. So it's important for Xbox to bounce back this year and give gamers more of an incentive to buy an Xbox. Overall, it's a very well-made console. I love the design as it resembles a small PC tower. It's super quiet while playing games too. It would've been nice to see how to feedback and more next-gen type features on the controller, or generally just something more cool like an OLED screen on the controller. If you made it this far into the video, drop the comment Xbox so that I know. I appreciate your support. Check out my review of the only gaming monitor you need to own and my Xbox Series X versus Xbox Series S review. I'll see you there.